transporter say, hey guys, it's Klaus. Let's watch Wolfenstein in his STRV, Tier 8 Swedish Yodeling TD. Well, come on. Uh, I know, I know, the yodeling thing. You know, I, I don't know why the Swedish uh, started the yodeling thing, the whole thing. Uh, you know, that part of the world with the Danes and the Norwegians, the tough Viking type macho blonde big guys, right, that ruled the world and conquered the seas. Beats me why the Swedes uh, started with the whole yodeling thing, but, uh, you know, eh, whatever. Um, yeah, let's uh, watch this, uh, the STRV, the IKEA. <laughs> IKEA and yodeling, it's what they're known for, uh, really. But, uh, you know, guys, let, let, oh, to be serious, let's get serious. Yeah. Come to Klaus's channel here for the no bullshit commentary and the, you know, the. the slightly slanted view on things and I have decided that uh, uh, if if I want to be a serious uh, contributor you know for this game and uh, want to be taken seriously uh, I have to start trying to be more uh, uh, diplomatic and politically correct and uh, and uh, just a little bit more sensitive in the way uh, I describe things and uh, and talk about certain aspects and certain different kinds of play styles and in general you know uh, be able to put out opinions and uh, maybe offer solutions and improvements to the game rather than just uh, you know go on and uh, rage and uh, and just make fun of and insult and uh, although I do admit that uh, one of the strengths of this channel is that we insult and berate everyone equally you know, we do not gang up on people. We insult everybody, regardless of, uh, you know, any particularity of uh, that uh, group or individual. We uh, pride ourselves in being able to insult, berate, and make fun of everyone equally. Uh, which, you know, I can't say that for everyone. But uh, anyways, so I'm going to try and give you a politically correct opinion about these uh, Swedish TDs, right? These... Uh, uh, these TDs uh, with the hydraulic uh, Swedish yodeling suspension system, you know, they can go up and down and they got the siege mode. You got to press a button and then you're in siege mode, which means that uh, you're very accurate. But when you're in siege mode, you have this like camo, uh, that superhuman camo, right? That means uh, the enemies can be anywhere on the map right beside you and you can shoot them and they can't see you. You become invisible like the Romulan cloak, uh, visibility cloak. Was it the Romulans or the Klingons? I don't know. The Klingons were the ones that were always angry, uh, you know, fighting. It was the Romulans. The Romulans had the invisible cloak of uh, death or whatever they called it. That they could, you know, cloak themselves. The invisible cloak. Right? They just press a button and they become invisible. And then if you're in the starship and the Romulans come in, they're invisible and you're fucked. Well, that's the same thing with the Swedish yodeling uh, IKEA TDs. Uh, you press this button... Uh, I, can't, I don't know because I, maybe it's X. I'm not really sure. You press a button and you go into siege mode, which means you become invisible. And this is really good for the game. I guess it was thought when they invented these things or added these things in the game. It would be very good for the game uh, to have a whole line of tanks that you could press a button and then you become uh, invisible and you could just shoot people while you sit in a bush. You know, you could be way at the back jerking off in a bush the whole game never move and just shoot everyone over and over and over again right let your team really play the game let your teammates move up and uh and try and spot and actually engage in in the active play of the game and you could just sit way at the back in a bush in a, in a bush uh you know like jerking off in the bush i've pressed my little button i'm invisible no one will see me jerking off back here and i could just you know, eat a Twinkie and just shoot. And it doesn't matter where the enemies are. They could be really close. They won't see me because I have the secret invisible button. This was, uh, you know, decided that uh, this would be good for gameplay and would promote more dynamic and exciting play. Uh, I guess they never thought that if you gave a tank the superhuman invisible Romulan cloak, right, in siege mode, that it might promote uh, a little bit more camping in the game. And uh, I guess that, you know, they didn't consider that that might be something that happens. So we're watching uh, Wolfenstein here, who was camping in the bush. And his team is losing, so he decided to move a little farther away. 
and camp in another bush. And now he's pressed the Romulan cloak of siege mode and he is invisible and he can shoot some other enemies from, uh, from his stealthy position where no one can see him. So um, is this good for the game or not? Well, I know that a lot of players that I play with when you're, when you're playing and, uh, you know, you're kind of playing the game and then you're moving in and there's a lot of fighting going on and it's exciting. Then you have to cross an open area to get to the enemy cap or you have to wrap up the game at the end. And at the end, there's one or two Swedish uh, yodeling invisible TDs and you can't see them. And you know that, uh, OK, I will not be able to spot them unless I get within 50 meters and proxy spot them. And if I drive there, uh, they'll be able to shoot me 14 times before I get there and not be lit because they have a you know, magical invisible cloak. Uh, you can press the button and they get the magic invisible cloak. So a lot of players get upset. Oh, there's these invisible uh, guys here. And so then they don't move up. Like this guy, he's moved up. And you know that was a mistake because the magical invisible TD can shoot him and he doesn't see him. Oh, here's another guy that's really close. He's... He's with it now. He's pressed the magical invisible cloak, and now he can shoot. You see, he can shoot this guy, and this guy will not be able to spot him because he's got the Romulan uh, Swedish yodeling cloak, and he's dead. So, uh, I guess it was never really considered that adding these types of vehicles in the game uh, would maybe promote uh, the people that play them to camp and sit in a bush and jerk off all game, and it may promote some of the enemies. Uh, that know that these things are invisible to camp and jerk off and uh, do nothing all game. Like this poor guy who thought, well, maybe I'll move up and try and spot him. He couldn't. L look where he is on the map. He's you know, 150 meters away. But he oh, look at this guy. This guy's close. He's surrounded by enemies, but no one can see him uh, because he's got the invisible cloak. Uh, so some of these enemies have you know grown some. They've put their big boy pants on and they've moved up to try and spot him. Uh, but they can't because he's invisible because you know he's he's shooting a big gun every now and then and the big flash the gunpowder explosion and the projectiles shooting out of the muzzle of the gun making the big huge noise kaboom and the you know the fire flashing out of the the muzzle now, they can't see that because he's pressed this button that makes them invisible um, so this uh, no one really considered that this might add an element of camping on both sides. And I don't know about you, but what's your uh, feeling uh, about these uh, invisible yodeling Swedish feet? Oh, there's another guy. He's clear line of sight here, but no, he doesn't see him. He's trying to move closer. Yeah, he's, no, no, he's not going to get spotted because, you know, he's got the secret cloak. Uh, this guy's trying to move in. There's a guy in the cap. He's, no, no one's going to spot him because he's invisible. There's another guy driving. He's trying to win this game. And uh, he's dead. And no one has spotted him yet the whole game. Uh, because well, you know, that's, that's the game. That's the dynamic gameplay that these uh, tank destroyers have introduced. It's the press button with left hand, jerk off with right hand, take break to shoot enemy gameplay style. Uh, so here we go here. The only thing that could happen is eventually, if you rush this guy with enough uh, players, and not, now he's telling his teammate to go spot for him. If you rush some of these Swedish uh, yodeling TDs with enough players, and he can't kill all of you at once, you know, while you rush them, and you get within proxy spotting distance of them, then, you know, they become lit and they become vulnerable. Uh, but on some of these maps where you could sit way at the back at A1 or A2, uh, that's kind of hard to do because you have to cross a lot of uh, open ground. And, oh, look at this! It's what's how? Oh, the object has, has the object killed him. Yes, and now he's using he's using his mobility. He's out of siege mode and he's going to go drive somewhere else now. Oh, it's just him! It's just him. Okay, so he's on his own versus two, and now he does not have any uh, teammates to spot for him. So he's going to have to rely on actually moving around and using the W key and and trying to move and maybe uh, trying to outsmart the enemy by flanking or, or uh, moving around. Let's see how he does here. He 
he's, uh, he's moved to the east. Now he's probably thinking that they know he was in the, you know, the northwest corner. They knew he was there. He, they couldn't see him, but they knew he was there. So he's going to he's gonna change flanks. He's uh, pressed two twice. He was able, oh, he actually pressed a different button. He's pressed number two now instead of just fire. Uh, and he's got APCR loaded and he's, uh, he's, he's driving around. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's follow. Let's see how, how we do it. You guys let me know in the comments what you think of these Swedish Yodeling TDs, whether they add dynamic gameplay or whether you think they promote camping. Uh, do they promote camping uh, for the people who play them? Or do they also promote camping for the people who know they are invisible and don't want to drive towards them? Do they just generally promote camping in the game? Does that make the game more fun, more dynamic, more exciting? Or does it make it you know, more of a clusterfuck camping bullshit uh, type of game? And uh, just trying to be, uh, get an appeal. Oh, actually, let's add a voting button. Do you think the Swedish TDs promote camping? Uh, or promote more dynamic gameplay? That will be the question. And on the top right corner of the screen, I'm going to add that in, the voting button, so you guys can decide whether you think these Swedish TDs are good for the game. Now, I know if you have one, if you're the driver of one of these things, you're probably going to say, yeah, these things are great. They promote uh, great gameplay, and I love uh, sitting in that bush, jerking off and uh, shooting the enemies while I have my Romulan uh, invisibility cloak on. And I know that if you don't have one, you're probably going to say, those fucking things keep fucking shooting me all the time. I don't know where they are. They're fucking invisible. I can't stand them. So there's those two extreme members that are, you know, some of you are going to vote one way and the other way. But then there's the people kind of in the middle that are politically correct and want to actually provide positive and, and good input and feedback for this game. Now, you guys, you're the ones I'm interested in, in seeing how you vote. Uh, whether you think, like, honestly, do you think these things help the game? Oh, look at this. He's moved in now. He's found the artillery. And can he shoot him? He is not in siege mode. He can. He's going to try and get in siege. Oh, he's rammed, and he's got him. He's got him. He got himself in siege mode, and he killed the artillery. He actually moved around and shot someone. But now, now this fucking camping Swedish yodeling piece of shit. TD that was fucking invisible the whole game promoting fucking camping and shooting people with his Romulan fucking invisibility cloak is gonna get shot up the ass and get what he deserves and finally finally someone's moved close enough to him so that he can flank him and get around and shoot him up the ass and put an end to this bullshit yeah let well, you guys vote on the top uh, right corner there. look at the stats great game eh uh, too bad he lost uh, let me know whether you think these Swedish yodeling TDs uh, improve the gameplay, add the, you know, make more dynamic gameplay, or promote camping. And leave your rage in the comments. Uh, I won't tell you what my opinion is. I'm interested in knowing yours.